What's up and welcome to Guangzhou, China. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today is day three of our comprehensive guide of some of the street food and local eateries here in Guangzhou, China, the home of Cantonese cuisine. So yesterday we had an amazing day. You can click the link for the video down below. We visited one of the largest fish markets in the entire world, the Huangsha Fish Market. We are just exploring the Huangsha Fish Market. This place is absolutely massive. There is tons and tons, literally, of fish here. We also went to the famous Xiamian Island to see the European architecture. So we are on Xiamian Island now and it is mainly famous for its beautiful colonial buildings, British and French buildings. It's super beautiful. Nowadays, it's just a tourist attraction, but before it used to be a very important island for foreign trade. And also had some of the best noodles that I've had in a long time. All of those are surprisingly good. They don't look like much, but really they pack a lot of flavor. It's all about those noodles. Those noodles are just perfectly cooked. So make sure you check that video out. Today we are going on another full day of eating. We have just come to a very popular restaurant for some wontons. So let's go have breakfast. For breakfast, we are at a restaurant called Wu Kaiji Noodle Restaurant. They specialize in wontons and noodles. This place is an institution here in Guangzhou, kind of hidden down an alleyway, but we will put the information down in the description box. There's two different parts to the restaurant. So there's sort of the street food part that's outside where the kitchen is, just some stools to sit on. But then also there's this renovated old house that houses the rest of the dining area which has all these relics of old historical instruments for making noodles and making wontons. But really what we're here for is not that. We are here for these noodles and these wontons. Check this out. So here is the huntun mian, the wonton noodles. Just a simple broth with some noodles and then those wontons that are stuffed with pork and maybe some other things I'll have to bite into it to know. And then also, these look absolutely beautiful. These are some super crispy deep fried wontons served with a sweet chili sauce. That just looks absolutely incredible. So let's dig in. Let's start with the wonton noodles. I'm just gonna try the broth. Oh yeah, it's like a little bit salty fish stock. That's really good. And let's try some of these noodles. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Those have a wonderful mouthfeel. Nice and firm, definitely not overcooked whatsoever, and they do a really good job of retaining the flavor of that broth. So now, let's try the wonton, the real reason we are here. Mmm, oh man, that is just quality. The wrapper on the outside is so ridiculously thin and delicate that you barely can even feel it. It almost just feels like a meatball, but there is that nice little outer coating of wonton wrapper. This is awesome way to start our day. My favorite part about this dish is definitely the broth. It's got a really nice light fish flavor to it. Mm. Next up is the deep fried wontons. These just look so incredible. This sauce is very tantalizing in the middle here. So I'm definitely gonna give that a nice dunk and let's try this guy out. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man, so good. So I already know we're probably gonna have to get another plate of these deep fried wontons. They're just too good. They are so crispy on the outside, but really it's all about that sauce. That sauce is a little bit of a spice kick to it and it's nice and sweet at the same time. It's a very dense sauce, so it sticks to the outside of the deep fried wonton wrapper, so nice. Just check that out, those are absolutely beautiful. Oh man. There are a few condiments on the table. I'm gonna try some of this red hot looking chili sauce, put a little bit of that into my wonton soup here, and that looks super spicy. So I will go a little bit easy on it, and let's give that a mix. Mix that around. This is a pretty simple broth, so I think it could use a little bit of spice. And let's try some of those noodles now. 
Mm. Oh yeah, that is spicy. That gives it a nice smoky, chili heat. Finished off with our wonton breakfast. That was absolutely phenomenal. If you only have the chance to try a few restaurants in Guangzhou, that one should be up there at the top. So we are still a little bit hungry, even though we had two plates of this deep fried wontons. We are going to head to another restaurant that serves double boiled soup. Double boiled soup is a very famous Cantonese dish that is like kind of a stew and the restaurant we're going to Da Yang is synonymous with this famous dish with the locals and they serve a really interesting version of it in a coconut a full coconut with a silky chicken so we are heading there right now have our double boiled soup and this place is super cool. It's just a small restaurant, only maybe 10 seats, and they serve a very unique version of this Cantonese famous dish. So as you can see here, this is our double boiled soup served in a whole coconut. So if I remove the lid here, you can see underneath, this is a silky chicken version. Silky chicken is a type of chicken that is black. And then there's all kinds of different things in here. There's some goji berries. There should be some yam in here. And it just smells absolutely wonderful in here. This restaurant is super cool. He's got the steamer baskets piled high to the ceiling. And this is a Michelin Bib Gourmand recommended restaurant. So let's try out this double boiled soup. I'm gonna start with trying the broth. It is a nice yellow color and it looks like there's a little bit of oil on the top. So let's try that. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a little bit of the Shaoxing wine in there, the rice wine. You can taste all these crazy Chinese medicinal herbs going on in there. And it does have a little bit of a coconut flavor to it. That is an amazing flavor broth. Let's get some chopsticks so we can try out the silky chicken next. So deep inside the coconut, you can see there, there is that black chicken, that silky chicken. It is black all the way through. And let's give that a try. Oh man, oh yeah, that is super tender chicken. That has absorbed the flavor of the broth phenomenally well, and that is surprisingly tender. Maybe the most tender chicken I've ever had just completely disintegrated in my mouth because of the process that they cook this. It is just cooked for a very long time. Man, this is enjoyable. The flavor of that broth is really the highlight for me here. Just a little bit of kind of an alcohol flavor from that Shaoxing wine, and then those herbs, like goji berries in there. Yeah, this is awesome. This is definitely one of those dishes that is ultra unique in presentation and in flavor. I've never tasted something quite like this. And you can see now I'm kind of working my way through the silky chicken meat, and I've just got a little bit of broth left and some goji berries and you know every once in a while a little piece of meat but this is super enjoyable and i've actually seen some people just eating the coconut right off here so maybe i'll take a little bite of coconut and chase that with some broth oh yeah there's definitely a little bit of coconut water in that broth because it gives it a natural kind of tropical sweetness Finished off with our double boiled soup. That was amazing. You can definitely tell there's some medicinal properties there. We just feel really kind of healthy, I guess you could say, after eating that. So there's a huge lineup out front now. We came pretty much as soon as they opened and they do sell out pretty quickly apparently. So definitely try this place out if you can. Right now we are going to head to the other side of town to check out the famous Canton Tower. We've come down to the Pearl River, which is a perfect place for viewing the Canton Tower. It is quite a work of art or architecture. It is built in a hyperbolic style or shape, I guess. It's really interesting looking. It's kind of thinner in the middle and then wider at the top. So I think we're gonna go for a little walk along the river. There's nice walking trails here and just take in the views of Guangzhou. 
Taking a break here on the edge of the Pearl River, taking in the views of the beautiful buildings, especially Canton Tower. There's this nice little walkway along the river with lots of benches and shade from the trees. And there is barely anybody down here. It's really peaceful and it's a nice clear day. So I think we're going to head back home and then head out for dinner again tonight. Heading out for breakfast now. Huh, breakfast. Heading out for dinner now. We are looking for a restaurant that serves white cut chicken, a Cantonese specialty. This is actually another one of those Michelin recommended bib gourmand restaurants and it's supposedly a little hard to find it's supposed to be hidden down some of these alleyways Found the restaurant down a hidden little alley and this place is called Tongji and they serve as I mentioned earlier white cut chicken which is a very simple dish but I guess here they have some sort of like a secret recipe that they do it really well and it is a poached chicken just poached in either water or sometimes a chicken broth with ginger and then this one is served cold with some sauces so let me just show you this here it looks absolutely beautiful we've got this nice looking chicken that is white the whole way through you can see here skin still on and then we've got two different types of sauce this is like a soy sauce with some uh, green onions and then this I'm not sure it looks like mustard but I'm gonna have to try it to find out so let's dig into this let's just give this chicken a try by itself here first oh man it's really like buttery almost the skin completely like liquefied as soon as it touched my tongue there's quite a high fat content in there and the meat is still nice and juicy and tender and there's quite a little bit of bones in there i think i definitely need to put it in the sauce next i'm gonna give this yellow sauce a try here i'm not exactly sure what this is but it looks really good so let's try that out mm. oh yeah that's like a really nice mustard that's definitely like a homemade mustard a little bit spicy and a little bit salty and a little bit sour at the same time too and it's got a little bit of a grit to it so there's definitely quite a bit of spice going on in there but man it's all about how oily this chicken is it completely falls apart and just melts in your mouth as soon as you put it in there mm. let's try sauce number two now let's try that out mm. oh oh that's really good it's like a very light salty soy sauce with a nice green onion flavor this chicken is out of this world mm. there is two things that this restaurant is popular for and we just ordered up the second one here this is the kanji we ordered the chicken kanji kanji is like a rice kind of soup so you can see the grains of rice in there and there's big chunks of chicken i'm gonna grab this and try that Oh, that is really hot. It's a very plain flavor, but it's really all about the texture of the rice grains in there. That chicken, again, is nice and soft, and that is scolding hot. It could probably use a little bit of like saltiness, but it is nice, hearty, and goes along well with the white cut chicken. This chicken is really, really good. Honestly, some people might be put off by the fact that it's served cold, but I find it really refreshing. There is a lot of pieces with bones, but then some pieces like this have no bones. And this sauce too is so good with a little bit of green onions, some soy sauce. It's just what it needs. Let's dig into this. Oh man. Oh, 
just melts. Wow. Finished off at the White Cut Chicken Restaurant. That was Tongji Restaurant. Another one of those Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurants here in Guangzhou. And just fantastic cold chicken just melts in your mouth. Super oily and delicious. So if you guys didn't check out our previous videos, we've already made two here in Guangzhou. The links for those will be down in the description box. And if you'd like to come to any of the restaurants you saw in today's video, you can also see all the information down in the description box. And please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more Guangzhou videos and more China videos. And we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching guys, bye-bye.